Hey everyone, it's me, the Otaku Fango, here to do the next part of the Fig Grand Order Let's Play. And looking at that, I think we're gonna be fighting more dread. I don't know though. <laughs> so, if I remember correctly, Sabres are weak to archers. So, we gotta bring out all the big guns on the archer side of things. Wait a second. But, okay. So, we'll put Chloe, we'll put Emia. And then here, we're gonna put you, except we're gonna, well, don't wanna move that around. I think I'll keep it like that. No, wait, uh, line up, move you here. Actually, move you here and move you there. And there we go. I think we will stay with this team. I wish I could give you more, uh, fudgy. Oh, I can. Okay, good. Can I give you just a little bit more? Just a little bit more than what you have. Let's see. Um, Increase uh, arts cards max. Uh, oh, yeah. <laughs> that one sounds like a good one. Um, okay, I think we will go with this team to fight more dread. I'm a little scared if that is what we're actually doing. And... Do I want to change this one? Uh, keep going. That one. Yeah, I think I'll change back to this one for this fight. So, <laughs> just uh, to be on the safe side. Okay. That can't be. Where, where on north did you? And dead. <laughs> you won't believe this, but we came from the sky. A powerful magical energy center is headed this way. No doubt it's neither round table. Thanks for the dropping by, Trash. I welcome you. I'm impressed you came to see me. Master, it really is Mordred from back in London. Quit shouting my name so much. Who are you, a fan of mine? Then again, I've killed so many heathens. I'm sure to be famous. I I must have been mistaken. This Mordred's different after all. What? Now you're suddenly being all meek? I'm telling you, I don't know you. Who you? Wait. I do know you. You look different now, but I remember the scent of your magical energy. I was wondering why you didn't respond to Father's summons. What the hell are you doing here? Ah, she's referring to that. Don't tell me you were one of the rebels. So that's it, then. Well, hardly surprising, considering it's you. You're about the only one who dares to object the King Arthur now uh, nowadays. Oh, you got a bit, got here a bit too late. Morjed, um, does this mean you'll talk with us then? Why would I do that, you idiot? Who interferes with me as an enemy? That mage there must be the master everyone's talking about. Now I'm gonna do Avergain a favor and cut you up into pieces. I don't want to fight you. What's that? You know me, too? Tch, being a servant's such a hassle. Anyway, just give it up. I don't know what kind of moron the Mordred you knew was, and I don't give a shit anyway. Right now, I am a knight serving the Lion King, and I am the great raider, raider Knight Mordred, and it is my duty to be a dishonorable hound. Do you understand? I've been let off my leash, meaning it's okay for me to do whatever I please. Ha! That's the best way to handle someone like me. I'll kill whoever dares to defy the king, no matter who they may be. Sarah, she's not the Mordred from London. If you pity her, you'll be killed. Fight her as an enemy with everything you've got. Well, I was hoping this would turn into a fight. See, my gift is called Rampage. And that means I'll fire off my sacred sword as much as I want, till my soul burns out. Battalions? Armies? Bring it! Let's see, there's one, two, three, what, only three of you? Just one master and three servants? That's not a fight, it's not even a game, there's no way I'd- Oh, hang on. Hey, what, what's the meaning of this? What are you doing here? You, of all people, shouldn't be here. It's not possible. Isn't that right, third-rate knight? You mixed in with these rebels? It must be some kind of sick joke! I have nothing to say to you. I, too, have bones to pick. My objective uh, was to reach the Lion King, but I'll forget that for the time being. Treacherous Knight Mordred, the traitor who trampled all over King Arthur's ideals. That tainted sword of yours is the horrible reality I can't stand to look at. Oh, oh! Ha! Looks like you finally learned to talk to like man-coward! Interesting. In that case, let me remind you of how the pitiful fact that you've not won, uh, not once won against me. Look out! Second battle against the Knights of the Round Table. Watch out for their special abilities. 
yep, this is uh, gonna happen. I'm a little scared. Oh boy, I'm a little terrified. Oh boy, come on, we can do this, we can do this, we can do it, we can do it. I hope and pray. Okay, first we gotta deal with these pieces of shit. Thank God you have a vein. <laughs> oh boy. Here we go. Okay, now they've lost their evade. <laughs> Uh, not bad, actually. Or a lancer going against a saber if I'd say something like that. Ow. Yo, okay. Fire! Ah, close. Wow, I can't believe they're not going after Billy. Like, I'm literally shocked that they haven't hit Billy once. Thank you. I was like, please kill it. Okay, there we go. It's like, where is it going after Billy? Oof, <laughs> my boy. My poor boy. Okay, My poor Koo boy. If big oof. Okay, not bad, but and I figured that was gonna happen. I was like, <laughs> hey Chloe, what's up, girl? What's up, Chloe? Damn, they really want to go after Emiya. Like, they're just like, Emiya must kill. <laughs> must kill Emiya. Emiya must die. I feel like these guys are like, Damn. And Billy, it's like just, just all this death must happen, I guess. I don't know. My goodness, I have some pretty strong archers. That's thankful. Something I'm thankful for. Hmm, so Ah, so close on Chloe's noble phantasm there. Okay. So I could just keep them all alive and then like hit Mordred with just like a barrage of noble phantasms. That would be freaking great. Please don't die, 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 please don't die. Please don't die, please don't die, please don't die, please don't die, please, I'm begging you. You sim it, you Begging so hard I'm about to do this. <laughs> Cause it's like I really would like... Yes. Come on. Oh, come on. Please live, please. Please live, please live, please live, please live, please live. Please live. Ooh, ooh, ha. It's just like, ha. Gotcha. You can hit, hit her with a barrage of noble phantasms, of archer noble phantasms right now. This is good. Oh boy. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I know you're gonna do that. If I want anyone to survive, it's Chloe. Okay. You, you, you. Okay, let's see how this goes. Oh boy. 
It's just like, yikes. Oh, man. This is just... Uh, it's never... Oh my gosh, yeah, she's so dead. I am, I am the bone of my soul. Blade works. <laughs> okay, we got this. We're gonna use your noble phantasm. Oh, okay, I thought we were gonna use your noble phantasm. Apparently not. Not that. I thought she would use her noble phantasm. Now she going to? No? Okay, weird. I legit thought she was gonna do that, but apparently not. Interesting. This fight is a. Uh, not what I expected, I guess. <laughs> I'm just like, I. Like, her noble phantasm gauge is like completely full. Why is she not using it? I don't know. I don't question the game. Just let the game do what the game wants to do, I guess. She has to die from that. Come on. Yeah, she's dead. <laughs> Though I'm sure this isn't the only fight. Yeah, she didn't, like, fade away. Okay, not bad, not bad at all. <laughs> okay. Alright, that fight happened. <laughs> now what? Because she's obviously not dead, but like, she's gonna be like, ah, I challenge you again, rawr! More dread noises. <laughs> Probably. So, let's. Oh, come on, no, I want. Yes. Well, that's not exactly the one I want, but you know, it's fine. <laughs> It's fine. Yeah. Okay. Ugh. They're so strong. If we let our guard down at all, Mordred will use that noble phantasm. Bedivere is keeping Mordred contained for now, but we can't go on like this forever. That's an impressive artificial arm. What was it you spoke so boldly or earlier? Where did you get that thing like that, coward? I don't even remember us having anything like that. You don't remember, huh? You sure about that? Maybe it's just your bird brain getting in the way. You calling me a blockhead? Oh, so you did! You always called me that! Don't get cocky, Bedivere. You're just a feeble knight who sat down in the extra seat. You'd never become the knight's attendant if your Agravain hadn't kicked it so early. You're nothing compared to me. King Arthur just happened to take a liking to you. Yes, you're right. I'm nowhere near the other knights. I have neither the fairest blessings nor the sons. I have no inherited gifts. I was nothing but an ordinary knight, yet a king relied on me until his last breath. To repay that kindness, this arm was granted on me, a gift from the Archmage Merlin, Nuda's arm. Until his last breath, you say? Fine, I'll kill you right here, and there'll be nothing left of you when I'm done. I won't even tell the king you were here. You'll never come close to seeing such a thing ever again. Turn my soul and unleash thyself, O oh silver light. Both my loyalty and your loyalty are one and the same. In the past they were true, but now their roots are distorted. Mordred, you are both my sworn enemy and brother in arms. I can understand that pain now. That is precisely why I shall slay you with all my strength. Switch on? A gelatin! <laughs> Sorry. Because <laughs> I can't pronounce it. Shut up! What do you know? You don't know anything about me! Like a lover's quarrel, something like that. <laughs> I'm just like, what is this, a lover's, really intense lover's quarrel? <laughs> oh, man. I couldn't see Mordred, like, dating. I, I couldn't see that. Like, she's soon to Ray, but she's, like, the soon to the max. <laughs> uh, okay, here we go again. <laughs> oh, boy. Here we go again. We doing this again. We doing it again. Again. Again, again, again. 
Survive this time. I think we can. Of course, you're gonna attack Ku. Oh, I guess she doesn't use her noble fantasm. Okay. I don't really know. Cause like it's completely charged. I just don't know why she's not using it. Ow. Okay. Oh god. Okay, well that's a thing. Okay. Okay, do you want to this? Oh man. <laughs> Intense battle, Ketsu. <laughs> I figured you were gonna do that. Don't attack again. Shit. Shit! Ah, oh, fuck! Damn it. Oh well. It's fine. His noble phantasm wouldn't do much anyways. Who's oh, like a good kind of anchor for a little bit, but like if he's facing someone like that, then yeah, he will end up dying, but still, he's a pretty good anchor, even so. Unlimited blade works! <laughs> Unlimited burger works. <laughs> That didn't do as much damage as I thought it would. Aw, oh, damn. Oh, shit. Oh, right, I forgot he would do that because of the, the thing. I forgot about that. <laughs> it's like, oh yeah, that's a thing. <laughs> Welcome to the party. We're having a good old time. Do <laughs> alter. Take the thing of it. Damn it. Okay, bad. Cool, I'll try to finish this off. Uh, go, go. Yay. Oh, not dead. So I'm sure we had to. Oh, oh, oh shit. Oh shit. Oh shit. <laughs> Get fucked. Okay. Come back with a fucking vengeance. Okay. Oh wait, no, no, no. Buttons. Uh, 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 it's like, oh yeah, there's two parts of this battle. I'm an idiot. I thought it was over. Baka. Okay. Woo. Oh yeah, we got this in the bag. Well, oh, now you use your noble phantasm. Of course. Of course, now you use your noble phantasm. Now I see. Okay. Nope. Wow, that's still in effect. I'm shook it, but that was actually still in effect. <laughs> Okay, we can do this. We got this. We can do it. Okay. Now. Yes. Okay. Good. 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 This is. This is good. This is going according to Keikaku. <laughs> this is all going according to Keikaku. Oh, 
Painted Blade Works. Okay. Not quite, but I'm just gonna use her. Phantasm again. Okay. Now he's dead. Chloe's very on the verge of death. And now Chloe's dead. <laughs> it's fine. Because Gilgamesh is coming in. So the I think this is gonna go just fine. <laughs> Yep, dead next turn. Oh, come on. Really? Then fix it. Let's see if Kuhn can Kuhn. Nah, probably not. Hmm. Yeah, he'll get it. <laughs> yep, there we go. Did it! Sleep forever. At least I think that's what he says when he says Nemure. I think that's what he says. Awesome. We did it. We did it. We did it. Yay! And we didn't have to revive the command spells. Thank God. <laughs> okay. What, what now? Damn it! What am I doing? Even my gift, I'm losing. Mordred retreated, uh, retracted the helmet. It looks like that armor and the rampage gift don't mesh well. I see, the secret of the pedigree. That armor was made to rebel against King Arthur. Naturally, he would try to reject the Lion King's gift. That means Mordred wasn't at full strength? Yeah, that's right. I'd be laughing stock of the round table I took. Okay. Oh god. I just threw up a little in my mouth. Okay. I have a Dougie Wigglings too seriously. But if I were to lose, it'd be even worse. So screw my reputation, I'll obliterate this mountain and you along with it. Feel the seething rage of this planet, Clarent Blood? Ugh. Who the hell are you? Who keeps aiming at my arm joints? You wanna die? Oh, it's all rash. It's a battle after all, someone's bound to die, especially those who ignore their own limits and keep coming back for more. Harash! Hey, nice move, Sarah Mash. Check it out, the result of your efforts. I was able to take care of all the other soldiers, leaving only Mr. Knight here, and all that's left is to take his head, but... Uh, I don't know about that guy. He's about to blow everything up, including himself, right? His gift is rampage, isn't it? I bet he's about to unleash all of his power and blow this entire mountain away along with that sword. Huh. What? You can tell? Nah, uh, it's coincidence. Just coincidence. Rampaging magical energy would only lead to your own demise, even for a heroic spirit. Hell, most you get to power up your phantasm for a bit. However, your gift is different. Rampage sounds cool, but it's no different than a nuclear meltdown. Do you get it now? The one who gave you that gift. See what they think of you? Yeah, that's right. I'm a hound, see? I take prey, kill, and kill again. In the end, I will happily die in a ditch. See, I feel bad for Mordred because, like, Artoria is such a bad mom or dad to her. It's just, it's horrible. I'm just taking you along for the ride. Come die along with- ah! The hell? That pisses me off. Even you're the enemy, my enemy. You lost the battle, so you blow yourself up and call it even. What's your prize? Where's your prize, the warrior? And you still call yourself a knight of the round table? Are you only brave in the beginning? What? Listen up. If you're going to use your life, use it to your defend your own pride. Don't drag us into your own desperate struggle. I love taking care of kids, but I refuse to look at our brats. B brat? Who are you calling a brat, bastard? What? You weren't a brat? Sorry. Time out. Hey, Sarah, who wants that kid? From the way he looked, I totally thought he was younger than you. I'm probably older. My appearance is frozen at my 16-year-old self. I see that he's a proper adult. In that case, all the more reason. If you're feeling frustrated, start over and put everything on the line. We'll call this a draw. Or would you rather uh, try me on for size? I've been hanging in the back, so I'm full of stamina. Damn it, listening to this idiot cooled my head. Fine, I'll play along. This round's my loss. Besides, my unit's been annihilated. And I'll let this village go, too. I was only hunting you vermin anyway. You know that coward there's gonna be meeting with the Lion King. We'll face off in the Holy City no matter what. The contest is on hold till then. This is an oath of a knight. 
Give it in return for my sparring my life. Sparing my life, I will never break it. Stay alive until then, weaklings. I'll be pissed off if you lose to another night of the round. Okay. Mordred's signal is fading away. Are you sure about letting her go? It's despicable yet unavoidable. We can't save the Western Village if he self-destructs here. We're already lost when they invaded. We were able to negotiate a draw. We can't ask for more. That's true. It seems the village was protected thanks to our rash cover fire. Now that's left is to check on the village errors and see if there's anything we can do. Bedivere? <laughs> okay. Bedivere, are you okay? Hang in there. Uh, is he okay? I did it, Nani? Was he to a boy? Probably all the fighting got to him. It's fine. He'll be fine. Hopefully. I think all the fighting just got to him. Okay, bypass. Huh, what do we got here? Looks like some assassins and some berserkers. Okay, well, assassins are weak to canisters. So we'll get canister in here. <laughs> okay, let's change this lineup now. We do not need all these anymore. Uh, Tomomaya. Gonna have to get rid of something here. Mm-hmm. Do 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 do. do that. Um how about you, I guess? And we'll get rid of you for why not? Let's change that lineup just a little bit though. No, put you there. Okay. And I'm gonna change back to this one. Okay. Go. Go. <laughs> I'm just like, go. Oh. oh. Sanzang. What? <laughs> it happened so long ago, I've lost track. I have seen many things, and forgotten many things, yet among them, that memory still remains in my heart. They say this winter will be harsher. We must dismantle some of the villages. And to think, we only just finished driving away the Picts from the north. The distortion continues, Bedivere. That day, the king visited me when I was deep in thought in the watchtower, with no attendance, alone, out of the blue. He had the appearance of a young boy, but in truth, he was not so far in age from the, me at the time. At sixteen, he drew the Sword of Selection from the stone and became the ruler of Britain. After that, he apparently ceased to age. They said it was the fairy's blessing, but I couldn't help but think it was a curse. The young knight fought th through the fiercest battles I've ever seen. He was a great leader who brought glory to Britain. He led the foreign tribes to victory against the tyrannical king Vortigen, who was or whatever who was ravaging the land. He united the warring feudal lords, fought off the advancing Picts from the north, put an end to the waves of the Saxons closing in from the mainland. Restored Camelot Castle as the crown jewel of London, um, L London, N -d 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 -d, the largest city in all of Britain's British Isles. The only one, King of Knights, King Arthur. I told the king, there, then and there, as long as you shall live, Britain shall never perish and suffering shall never prevail. That is not true. Camelot and its surrounding may be flourishing, but the rest of the land remains in ruins. Even in Camelot, where it culminated, those villages would be destroyed. He could not restore their lifestyle. Plowing the land, living day by day, raising children, that is what leads to future prosperity. There is no future in merely sheltering the people. Eventually, the noose is sure to tighten. Unlike the knights of the round table, giddy from all their victories and glories, the king always looked grim. Things were different before Camelot was restored, though. Sir Kay spoke of how the king used to smile more often, back when he used to travel the island in disguise. But now, not a trace of smile remained. The king alone saw the dark clouds waiting on the horizon. Perhaps the sunset was making me nostalgic, as that moment I asked the king a timid question. One that stemmed from the doubt to the unrest that had plagued me ever since I was granted a seat at the round table. Why did you choose a knight as worthless as me to be a knight of the round table? You feel unworthy because you are inferior to the others. How foolish. The same goes for me. In build, I am no match for the others. In swordsmanship, many are better. Many are my better. However, bonds must not be measured by strength or weakness alone. Friend or foe, good or evil, good and evil, benefit and determent. 
Just as those are all different things, the Knights of the Round Table all serve different purposes. Friend and foe, good and evil. Friends are good, are good, but foes are evil. But the king said they were different things. It was unexpected, but in this era of warfare, he was the only knight who looked down and saw the situation in its entirety. In all likelihood, the king never said this to any of the other knights. It's something he said only to me, and it's obvious why. In that moment, the king told me thus. The Saxon invaders are our enemies, but they are not evil. If he had mentioned such a thought to the other knights, many would have criticized him. That's right, the Saxons just came to this land searching to, for a land to live on. To us, they are the enemy, but their actions are not evil. What they wish for is inherently good. And if it was good, then there must come a time when they will serve an important, important function for this island. As long as we are human, conflict will arise. The division of friend or foe is worn from benefit and determined. We are now in an era where that is an extreme, an era of winter, when neither side relents until the other is crushed. I hate to even imagine creating a round table bound only by strength in such a time. It would fall into evil. We did not take an oath in order to kill our enemies. We took up arms for the future of our brethren. That is why. That is why we need so many roles, Bedivere. Does our Camelot shine because it was created by for force? Of course not. This place is made up of everyone's dreams. It is forged from the desire of man alone to create a up utopia, a bit just barely. That's why we need knights like you. Compassion knight, compassionate knights who can pick up the details of people's lives, details that Gay Wayne and I wouldn't notice. Even now, my heart aches every time I think of it. I had no idea just how much hopeless the king felt then, not until I heard it from Merlin. Stupid and weak as I was at the time, I responded thus. It's too difficult for tough, tough for me to understand, but I too enjoy living in Camelot. Thomas's wife gave birth just the other day. Twin girls, such adorable darlings. How mundane and commonplace a reply, yet I remember giving it with such satisfaction, such delight. Good grief, you had me worried for a moment. Such concerns do not become you, oh simple and honest Bedivere. However, I am heartened to learn you are such a fulfilling life that should be a source of sustenance for all. His hair shone gold in the sunset. That was the moment when I finally felt I was in the presence of a true king. The knights feared they did not see the king smile for quite some time, but that was not the case. Truly. The knight did not smile for himself. He smiled upon seeing the happiness of others. Aww. That's a cute little story. <laughs> Wasn't expecting. The gravity of my sins made me want to rip out my own heart. Oh, damn. Despite remembering that, I still turned unfaithful, sword to the, toward the king. Oh, forgive me. I have committed a deed on becoming of a knight in your service. Please deliver justice upon my transgression. All that I have done, night after night, was for. What did you do exactly? Like, wh what did you do that was so bad? I've laid Bedivere down to sleep. He has no noticeable wounds, but he's physically exhausted. If only he had a, had a servant specially in medical care, Da Vinci. Both Lord Cursed Arm and I have no such knowledge. I haven't the master of the treatment spells either. Do you think Bedivere's noble phantasm wears away at him after all? It definitely takes a toll on him, not just physically, but apparently mentally as well. He was crying out in his sleep just now. Forgive me, forgive me, my king, he said. That's not surprising. Despite only being fused with the Knight of the Round Table, he and I feel a little indescribable irritation when we fight them. I have a sense of guilt telling me that this is treason against King Arthur, so for Sir Bedivere, an actual member of the Round Table, it must be a lot worse. It's related to the King of King, I guess? Sir Bedivere is one of the Knights King Arthur's longest, longest serving knights. Despite only having one arm, he is said to have been three times su as successful than other knights in battle. Oh, by other knights, I'm referring to ordinary knights. Compared to the other knights of the round table, Sir Bedivere's victories were modest. The most famous antit about him is from the end of King Arthur's life. King Arthur's final battle, the Battle of Camlan. Cam it was war not with the invading Saxons, but with the nation between the Knights of Britain. Despite killing the traitor Mordred at Camelin, the King Arthur himself suffered a fatal wound. The king cannot recover on a hill soaked with blood. 
Leaving so, Sir Bedivere car carried King Arthur to a pure sheltered forest. Lying there. Shut up. Uh, the king quietly spoke. Beyond this is a forest. Over the hill is a lake. Cast my famed sword into it. There's the famous legend of returning the sacred sword Excalibur to the Lady of the Lake. King Arthur, sensing his own death, chose to return it to its proper owner. However, that would make mark the end of his life. His faithful retainer Bedivere, out of concern for the king, twice failed in his task. And the, as long as the sword existed, the king was immortal. Bedivere believed it had the power to heal his mortal wound. Through the woods, over the hill, debating the swords to return, with each trip to the lake, he would fail and return to the king. And upon his return, he would lie to the king by saying, I have returned the sword. Uh, it is said to be Sir Bedivere's only and one act of disloyalty. Yes, a very compassionate decision in keeping with Bedivere's character. But King Arthur could not be deceived. In a quiet voice, he would say to him, Do your duty. And so Bedivere made the third journey over the hill. This time, it was at dawn. Accepting that he could no longer sway the king's heart, he cast the sacred sword into the la lake's depths. With Excalibur delivered to the Lady of the Lake, he made his way back to the forest. But that is how King Arthur drew his final breath and fulfilled his responsibility. The king's body was sent to sea on a boat and is said to have reached the legendary paradise, Avalon. Yes, it is believed that he'll return to Britain when, it, when Britain is endangered and lead the people once more. King Arthur's gravestone in England is said to have the epithet, Here lies Arthur, the once and future king. <sighs> Bedivere, man. Poor guy. Yes, Sir Bedivere's anxiety is indeed a cause for concern. Fighting against his former brethren must be tough. Awesome. But above all, uh, of all, his beloved King Arthur is a being tyrannical ruler, completely different from how he was in life. Even in the name of justice, turning on a king once you serve must be an unforgivable act for a knight. There you are, Sarah. Forgive my delay. I've just returned from checking on the village. Thanks to you, you were able to keep the damage to a minimum. On behalf of the village leader, I humbly offer my thanks. We are truly indebted to you. You may be right. If we had given up back then, this village wouldn't be here by now. It was a spur of the moment decision, but it looks like Sarah's bet was correct. Uh, I'm so glad. Yes, I shall impress that smile firmly upon my heart. Sarah is sure to become a good master. By the way, Hanson, what are your plans from now on? I introduce you to the village leader, of course. We've come all this way after all. It's a good opportunity. We are already in cooperation with each other. I'll introduce you as my new military power. <laughs> I'm sure good talks. Uh, talks will go smoothly now. She too was grateful for your assistance. Oh, speak of the devil. Yes, this way. Hundred personas. These are my new brethren I was telling you about. I apologize for the delay. I have nothing but thanks for your assistance on this occasion. I am the guardian of this village, an old man of the mountain, Hanson of the Hundred Percent. Huh? What? You're the one from... Crap! Ah, so you've already met. How convenient. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's like, yeah. I refuse. They cannot be trusted. Fighting together is completely out of the question. Be thankful that I don't slaughter you here and now in front of these villagers. We won't free, free, feed you either. This place is strapped for food even for today. For two days now, um, the villagers have only had little water and salt. We have no food to serve the likes of you. What is this? Going as so far as to reveal your face while making such threats. Sarah, what on earth happened? Hundred Personas is indeed a nasty and stubborn, easy to resent, but also the most calculating Hanson. Even without my explanation, she would know that. Sarah's assistance is worth a weight in gold. Uh, well, um, we met back once in Egypt, and, uh, hey, quit speaking as if it's all over. Do you know how much I've suffered thanks to you? You've destroyed my carefully crafted Nidkritz's abduction, forced to reveal my face. And now to suffer the humiliation of being rescued by such a hated enemy. If the great founder was out and about, if I never this, I would surely be punished. I will never fight alongside you. What's wrong with you, cursed arm? To trust the knight of the round tail of all people. Haha, <laughs> it's like watching my former self. It'll be hard to convince this one. Um. Uh, Alright, let's fight then. Bring it. No thanks. Did you think I would accept you if you beat me? If anything, I'd hate you more, fool idiot. Hmm, she's worse than Mordred. What exactly did you guys do to her? 
But she's also an old man of the mountain. Without her help, we can't even advance on the holy city. We've got to convince her somehow. <laughs> By the way, 100 personas, how is the other matter going? Oh, that? No developments. At this rate, it's just a matter of waiting for her death. For her, er, her for death. I'm, uh, I'm sure she is one, not one to break the silence, but I hear there are masters of torture within the round table. If she were to reveal our plans before she dies, we would lose a chance of counterattack. Who are we talking about? Hmm, that is worth truly worrying. If only we could find someone somewhere. Someone stronger than us. Is it eventually? Uh, able to work independently. Good at leading servants and willing to help us. Where are you ever going to find such a convenient helper? Give me a break, fool. Right here in front of my face. Fools! Ugh! Ugh. <laughs> that, yeah, I don't get the situation, but I heard your story. Senpai, it seems we can help them in some way. Yes, to put it simply, one old man of the mountain has been captured by the enemy. If it were any other old man of the mountain, we wouldn't be worried. She wouldn't have taken her own life upon capture. But this one is young, and her innate constitution prevents her from killing herself. Unless we rescue her, she may eventually leak her information to the enemy. Unfortunately, the fort she is being held at belongs to the round table. It would be difficult to penetrate. We've sent a select few to attempt it, but so far, none have returned. Uh, sorry about Nita, Chris. Your sorry doesn't cut it. I had a miserable trip home, including cold glares from my subordinates. Oh, how reassuring. I knew you would say so. So how about it, Hunter Personas? You said we can't trust, cannot trust Sarah. Yeah, after saving our skin twice, surely you have no complaints. Still, it depends on what they do next. Let's have them pursue a hostage. There are many who promise to help, then flee and leave one of your members here. It'll be in exchange for the captured old man of the mountain. I won't have any objections then. That's perfect. We can leave Bedivere to we can let Bedivere rest. And please take one of our leaders, Sir Bedivere, as your hostage. Guard him with your strictest men so he can't do anything but lie down. Okay, that ninth round table, huh? That sounds like a fair exchange. Then it's decided. Ready, Sarah? Uh, thank you, Hanson of the Cursed Arm. <laughs> you still killed Ku in the movie. I hate you. No, no, likewise. You were brilliant. Okay, then. That happened. And let's go. I'll show you to the fort. Um, what about Arash? I don't see him here. I've asked Lord Arash to protect the village. There's no guarantee that Mordor won't come back. And without uh, me, the village won't uh, won't have anyone to provide food. But thankfully, when it comes to hunting, Lord Arash is more skilled than me. He will make sure everyone eats. This isn't from the front lines. It's shelter for people who can't fight. I see. That's why everyone looks so worried. Let's go. No need for unnecessary sympathy, after all. It takes an entire day to reach the fort. But for that, some warm exercises. I don't know this bodes well or not. We're surrounded by bandits this time. Too precious for de detours. We'll wrap them in advance. Sarah! Okay. <laughs> it's just like, okay. <laughs> okay. 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 <laughs> ay, ay, ay. So much is happening. And my mouth is getting really dry from all this talking. Yikes. Come on, load. Come on, come on, come on. Come on, come on, come on. You can do it. I believe in you. You can load. You can do it. Come on. Okay. I forgot what we were fighting, and I was like, oh yeah, we're fighting this. I forgot what we were fighting. I'm like, oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, so close. Alright. Oh boy. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> Oh, this story is quite moving along, that's for sure. That's for sure, it's quite moving along. Oh boy, oh. Berserkers. Fun. How fun. Berserkers. Let me go! 
Oh man, so much is happening in this story right now. It's like, huh? How fun. Yeah. Yeet. Ow. Okay. 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 Uh, I'm having such fun with this game now that I'm able to record it and like do let's plays of it. It's, it's so I hope you guys are enjoying these let's plays, by the way, because I I really enjoy making them and doing them and you know reacting to the story and all the stuff that happens, you know, and like yeah. Oh, I just realized that I'm in it. it's fine. It's fine. Everything is fine. Everything is not fine. It's fine. Okay. Oh man. But yeah, if you guys really enjoyed these let's plays, I could really just like continue doing them because I think they're great. I think they're fun. I wish I, I could stream them, but I can't. I mean, I can, but I don't know. I feel like doing let's plays is easier with my shitty internet, so yeah. But that's just me. Ah, Wanada. Because fate is kind of like a big part of my life now, kind of like Persona is, so yeah, I'm kind of stuck deep in this hell and I'm never escaping. <laughs> it's like, I'm never escaping this hell. I'm never escaping this fate hell, <laughs> ever. That's hell you're walking into. <laughs> oh, Ku's gonna finish it off. Good Ku. Ah. I did it. I did it. We did it! Yay! We can do one more probably for this part and then I'm gonna have to stop probably okay what do we got we got Lancers and Sabers okay 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 well Sabers are weak I think I'll go with the Archer okay good and then uh, Hmm, hold on, let me think about that. I'm like trying to think. Um like sabers are weak to archers and then lancers are weak to sabers. Okay. So what we wanna do is move you, bring you Ah fudge me. Yeah, that's the team I want. I'm pretty sure. Can I give Chloe something a little stronger than that now? Uh, let's see. Oh, uh. 
go with that, because that, that is helpful. Um, if she does die, that is. Okay, I was like, what's happening? Um, <laughs> it was doing that weird thing it likes to do. Um, think, God, I can't think. Uh, we'll just go with this and see how it goes, because I'm like, oh. um, The winds are picking up. <laughs> Sound storms are child's play for us. A good omen indeed. Ah, sorry if it was difficult to understand what 100% of this means is. Soldiers of the Holy City will never find us in a sandstorm. We are in luck. Now's our chance. Let's hurry. You don't need to translate every little thing I say. We'd get lost in this if it weren't for you. What a relief you're here with us. Uh, if it looks like we'll quickly reach the fort without encountering the Holy uh, City forces. No, wait. Service detector up ahead. One is heading the same way you are. The magical energy response is enormous. Ah, servant? is strong. A rank servant? Oh no, sorry. Scratch that. Rather, it's an interesting one. How should I describe it? Shiny and fluffy, yet also stocky. It's also a colorful servant and impossible the knights of the round table. Uh, sounds like a weirdo. <laughs> Wah! Help! Someone do something! Did you hear that? Home and scream! Master! Uh, the hero just smooth and attacks women? Oh god. Um, yeah, in which case it might even be an anti hero. It's a servant battle. Be on your guard! Oh! oh excuse me. Hmm, that fool rushed us off to help him before determining opponent's strength. No, no, it seems the reason is outweighed in instinct. The reason being, someone requires assistance. Sierra is among the best at sensing danger. If it were a hopeless battle, there'd be more hesitation. But still, only hesitation. What a fool indeed. Uh, why are you so mean to me? Look, I know we did the thing earlier, but look, just, just chill yourself out, bitch. Like the fuck. <laughs> uh, man. It's like, bitch. Chill the hell out. <laughs> oh, man. Bitch got no chill. Apparently. <laughs> bitch got no chill. Bitch got no chill. Bitch has no chill. Apparently. Apparently. Okay, let's do this. Y'all are gonna fucking be. die. It's gonna be a day. Yeah. Lots of death and murder. Okay. 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 Lots of death and murder. Gonna kill you. Okay. Yeah, the lag's definitely kicking in, so after this is gonna be the last thing for this part. Unless there's a little story after this, which I hope we might just fucking not. Hmm? Okay. Okay, what you got for us? Oh... Um... <laughs> I'm like, what am I doing anymore? I don't know. Yeah. my mind. Okay. Awesome. Who's next? Who's up next? I don't know. They are. Okay. Hmm. Oh boy. Level up, boo. Level up, boo. Or not really interested. No, fan has a level up, boo, but you know, whatever. Hi. Kill it. Oh, I was hoping she'd kill it. Damn. Okay. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. What's what's uh what, what's the final battle here? I figured. I figured as much because they're fucking everywhere. It's like good lord. Oh shit. <laughs> I thought, but I was wrong. 
I thought, but I was wrong. Can I just wait for her to get? Mm, please don't die. Okay. Oh, the lag is kicking in. It's fairly bad. Okay. Um. There. Yeah, I have a thing. I was like, what am I doing in my hand? Losing it. That's what I'm doing. <laughs> Oh, he's no more phantasm. It's really cool. Oh. Good to know. Apparently dinner's ready, so this will, this will definitely be the last thing I have to do for this part. <laughs> it's like 6.45 here, so, you know. Come on, don't crash. Please don't crash. No! No. No. Don't do this to me. Don't do it. No. Come on. No! <laughs> Fuck. I knew I was gonna do that. Damn it. Okay, continuing where we left off, because the thing freaking messed up on me. Uh, what was I doing? I think I was doing the noble phantasm shit. Hmm. Yeah, I was doing that. Ah, <laughs> oh, jeez. Please don't crash me this time. It's just, it's just a little bit left. Just a little bit left, and then you're free to go. Ah, oh, jeez. I just want to eat dinner, too. I just want to eat dinner, man. Is that so hard? <laughs> just want to eat dinner. <sighs> It takes so much to set this back up sometimes, it's kind of annoying, but you know, it's whatever. Okay, let's finish this fight. I just want to finish this fight. I'm so hungry. I want to eat dinner. Okay. Uh, I'm so hungry. I just want to eat dinner, man. I just, you don't even know. Okay. We can do this. I just want it to end. I bet you there's gonna be stuff after this. Maybe. I don't know. Maybe not. Maybe it'll be a short talk. Maybe nothing. I don't know. I literally don't care if she dies at this point. Because <laughs> I just want this to end. Just, I just want it to end. Yep, dead. <laughs> it's like, yep, dead. Dead! Ooh, very close to death. Ooh, ooh, we can use our own phantasm, maybe finish this off really faster than I ho would hope. Um. Okay. Okay, here we go. <laughs> Alright. Death and death. Maybe. Maybe not complete death. I don't know. We're about to find out. <laughs> nope. Didn't think so. Okay, 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 okay. okay. So, oh, okay. Do that. <laughs> like, oh, okay. Yeah, that. Do that. <laughs> Probably not gonna kill him, but you know, it's fine. Get to closer to death. Unless it insta death. Nope. No insta death. I didn't think so. Okay. Ooh. Okay. Atoria. Kill it for us. <laughs> Go, Atoria! Yeah! Finally, we did it! After a little bit of struggle, I had to do the freaking thing. But anyway, it's all done! <sighs> okay, is there anything after this? <gasps> Let's find out. Yes or no? Please, no. Mm. Mm. Boy! 
Don't you fucking do it. Don't you, don't you, what are, what are you doing? What are you doing? What happened? What the fuck? What the fuck happened? I don't know what's happening anymore. Hello? Gameu? Nani? Uh, <laughs> I think it was like, I'm gonna die. <laughs> Just like, yep, it's dead now. Um... Well, that was awkward silence. Um, hi. <laughs> Come on, load, please. I just want to finish this. Uh, am I done? Did I finish? Did I miss the story part? I hope I didn't miss the story part from that. Did I get the reward? Did I do it? I don't know, man. I, 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 I'm confused. What just happened? I, I hope that it... I'm pretty sure I, I guess I got the shit. There's one way. There's one way to know. What the fuck? <laughs> uh, there's one way to know. I don't. Okay, I'm confused. Oh wait. Oh. Oh. Well, uh. That's how this is gonna end on uh, that note that she's holographic now. Okay. Why are we still here? Just to suffer.